All right. Higgs boson is asking, how is the right wing reacting to the recent shooting in Colorado? Are they trying to stay silent or trying to kind of defend it? I mean, they wouldn't openly defend it, obviously. Yeah. What so, I've seen is, yeah, go on here. Well, I was just going to say, so I, I haven't been following a bunch, but there have been a couple of recent things. Apparently, um, the, the, the lawyers for the shooter have come out and said that the shooter is is non-binary and i've heard that there were a couple of of the further right wing individuals in the us that have um kind that's of picked, a picked... that's a troll move i think so some people some people have said that too on both sides um and you know i don't know they say they're non-binary i say okay um but at the end of the day it does feel a little disingenuous to me for sure um but there have been some right wing commentators that have used that to kind of say to continue to push that garbage of of the whole look, see, this is this was the problem. They were non-binary and that was why they did all this stuff, even though, you know, there's a lot of other really obvious reasons, like the fact that the father of the shooter w w is apparently just a really bad person. Like there's a couple of videos of interviews with him. Yeah. And they, yeah, it's it's rough because they say to him, like, your son was like at a at a gay bar the other night. And he was like, what? He's not gay. And they're like, no, he's been accused of, like, shooting a bunch of people. And basically his response was, whoo, thank goodness he is not gay. So that's pretty terrible, I would say. Yeah. So. Yeah. So the grandfather also is like a mega. Yeah, politician. yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah also so yeah. this is right leaning this is right this is right wing terrorism in the united yeah. states right yeah. so don't let the whole non-binary uh, thing yeah um and, and this not non-binary or not they were this individual was was um was involved in a lot of this propaganda was involved in a lot of this hateful and harmful rhetoric that a lot of people have called out over the years and said this is the consequence of allowing people to continue to just dehumanize an entire group of people it causes people to think that this is an okay thing to do so i mean yeah this is my get terrorism yeah. so just this is exactly it. but okay so the way i've seen right-wing people react a lot of them is to say that oh they're using this terrorist attack as a way to mm, silence us from pointing out that the lgbt movement is like gro as grooming Mm. movement and stuff like that that's, that's what they're saying so that's their reaction um yeah. <laughs> but to be to be accurate they they're accusing the entire lgbt movement of bringing a bunch of groomers mm -hmm. is the reason why we have attacks like this right yeah. so yeah. all the ben shapiro's the matt walsh's um the mega hat uh, you know the mega republicans all the narratives that they have is they are responsible for these attacks to happen i mean yeah. if, what do you think will happen eventually if you uh, kind of present the entire move the entire lgbt as mm -hmm. a danger to children um this is what you get out of it right um this is kind of how we got to uh fascists taking over germany right mm -hmm. it uh, it started with the under with the conspiracy theories over jewish people um and condemning them all um of certain actions and eventually it led to enough justification for people to bring adolf into power to fix all mm -hmm. all of these things right mm -hmm. so we're kind of saying a repeat of the same events happening in the United States, which is kind of terrifying because we might, I mean, a lot of people predicted this. A lot of people predicted this, that these kind of narratives will lead to events like this. And um, people like me were wondering if they're exaggerating. Like we were just waiting to see like, is that an exaggeration? Is that an accurate, accurate uh, prediction and uh, apparently they were right apparently they were like i mean i wasn't making those predictions i was just gonna i was just wondering if they are exaggerating or not and apparently mm -hmm. they were not exaggerating as you can see yep. and it's it's the 
that that rhetoric of of othering and dehumanizing and so forth yeah not just not just germany in the in the 30s but italy right now france right now sweden right now hungary right now i mean you name a place around the world it's the exact same it is the exact same rhetoric it is the exact same play and that is why those of us that do try to call this stuff out can confidently say this leads to violence because it has repeatedly, repeatedly, yeah. and it will, and this type of stuff will continue to happen um, if if that dehumanization of the LGBT community continues in such a fashion by the politicians. Also, a, a conversation, an issue that nobody else in the world deals with but the United States is this type of gun violence, is this type of death from firearms. That is not me saying every single firearm needs to be taken and gathered and destroyed. No, it's it's me saying, how in the world are we the only place that, that has this issue? And funny enough, we do actually have some answers on this. And there are some basic things that we could do to stop this type of violence and mass shooting and deaths. We have this happen every single week in the united states every single week stuff like this happens so when are we going to do something about it i don't know we haven't for the last we haven't for the last you know few decades so uh, i have no idea but i i would say that any american right now that doesn't vote to get, keep um, uh, republicans out of power um is also responsible for this mm -hmm. if you're voting right. if you're if you're saying oh well i'm a single you know issue voter and i just want lower taxes and i'll just accept the fact that this person is literally calling for a genocide of of you know homosexual individuals or whatever you are complicit you you are you're voting in somebody that is openly stating that they are going to do these types of things and continue this rhetoric and criminalize these people you you are you are complicit so Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.